All right, well, guess what? Another event is back. After two years away, the Capitol Fringe Festival is returning to D.C., and this time it's coming to historic Georgetown. If you have never been, let us set the, uh, set the event experience for you. We have the founding director, Julianne Brienza, and also we have playwright and performer, Fargo Nassim Tabaki. Thank you both for being here. Thanks so much for having us. Two years away, and it sounds like it's chaotic right now trying to put it back together. How is it going, Julianne? It's actually been really great with the community in Georgetown and all of the 31 productions that are a part of the festival. We're all just so grateful to be back to be doing theater in person and just being greeted by the Georgetown community with the venues that we're using, which yeah. um, they're all donated to us for the wow. festival this year. Wow. So yeah, it's been just, it's been That's pretty, nice. pretty joyful. Feeling the love. <laughs> for yeah. people who maybe haven't been before, you mentioned theater and performances. What type of performances would they see? So they are, they really run the gamut. And to okay. be perfectly honest, <laughs> most of the times we don't actually know what they are until they physically show up in the venues uh, to do their techs. What? So it's a first come first serve uh, festival and people tell us they're doing stand up comedy. They tell us they're doing, you know, a more dramatic piece or a comedy piece. But it really just all happens in the moment, <gasps> and um, we find out a lot oh of the stuff <laughs> along, with the, along with the audiences. <laughs> um, but it's these are all people's stories that they are that they have you know put together over the last two or so years. Um, so it's yeah. very raw. It's very exciting. Very in yeah. the moment. Um, each show is about sixty to seventy five minutes. So wow. it's it's not a big like undertaking as far as going to theater of intermissions and all yeah, that jazz yeah. so what a neat place to to work on something and then to be able to have a place to present it and yeah. share your craft Fargo you're one of the performers and also a playwright yourself yes. right yeah can we get a preview of what you're doing or is that not going to be said till you're on yeah. stage? <laughs> luckily luckily I, I uh, have a little bit more of an idea okay. um, yeah, yeah my uh, project is called my father my martyr and me uh, it's a show I've been doing for several years now uh, the first time I performed it was in 2019 so it's been to a couple festivals it's I've produced it independently some places so there's wow. there's less surprise uh, in that one are um, you the only person on stage yes for, it's, you're kidding. Uh, it's a it's solo show you. yeah wow. um, so it's really exciting and it's been it's been uh, a couple years since I last performed it so it is it does feel really great to be able to come back to it I hear um, 2019 I right, think you had two right. years or you or a year maybe yeah 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 you exactly take it around um, the last time I performed was at a festival in Austin in February of 2020 and uh, I was then hoping to begin a tour of some kind yeah. I had big dreams and yeah. uh, then obviously it was it was a lot of waiting yeah so is this an opportunity for you to get get it back out there, get moving again, and for right. all of your artists coming mm -hmm. to kind of get back into that space and share what they love the most? Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. And a yeah. big part of the festival is getting coverage for the artists and press mm. doing reviews, and then they're able to oh, use that yeah. into the future. So it's a real yeah. launching pad for local DMV artists. Yeah, like where would you take it from here, Fargo? It's a good that question, you know. Um, but I think, yeah, certainly having more uh, experience just putting it up, especially, you know, in a fringe festival situation, one of the things that is certainly true is that you don't have the same kind of resources you would have at a regional mm -hmm. theater. You don't have the same kind of time, the same kind of money. And so what that yeah. does is I think it really... Um, gives artists experience making work without those resources and seeing what it takes to um, be resourceful and uh, also yeah. creative in the way that we approach things. You know, I find mm -hmm. for me so often in those constraints, um, I make really exciting creative decisions that I wouldn't have made if, if I didn't have those. Yeah. So and being able to do it right. and show it on stage, it's awesome. I'm so glad it's back. Thank you both for being yeah. here to tell us all about it. Uh, there are eight days of performances, actually. It's going to be two consecutive weekends starting July 14th. So you can get tickets for not this weekend, but then following two weekends. Thank you both. All right. Thank you.